Earlier this month, the Helen Association for Persons with Autism, HAPA, held a press conference at which several parents of children with autism explained the challenges they face with the nation's education systems. Some parents lamented poor treatment, exclusion from activities, and discrimination against their children in schools. Others claimed that schools would turn them away when trying to enroll their children due to the children's neurodivergence. There were even claims that children were expelled from school because teachers did not know how to handle autism. Even parents who had their children enrolled in special needs schools or schools that accepted neurodivergent children had issues. Dr. Delia Samuel, president of HAPA, explains that autism is not a disease that needs to be cured. She says that those with autism process the world around them differently than neurotypical persons do. To the St. Lucian government, businesses, schools, stakeholders, please, please, fix the issues that make autistic individuals feel unloved and not accepted and ostracized. Fix these issues that prevent our autistic children from getting the education, the care, and the support that they all deserve. Ableism is the discrimination against persons with disabilities due to a belief of superiority by neurotypical people. Dr. Samuel says, unfortunately, ableism is prevalent within St. Lucian society, including within the education system. Education Minister Sean Edward says as part of the Human Capital Resilience Project and Equipped Project, a comprehensive special education needs policy will soon be unveiled. Those are basically focusing on special education um, in a very, very comprehensive way. And soon from today, we will be unveiling what is known as our comprehensive SEN policy, SEN, S-E-N, Special, needs, ed, special Education Needs, um, as part of the broader education framework that, that, that we've uh, adopted in our country for the time being. During the Harper Press Conference, a SEN teacher from the Castries Anglican Infant School expressed that more support was needed for SEN teachers. Dale Sejis, education officer in the Special Education Unit at the Department of Education, says many within the education sector need the right mindset to support children with autism. I don't think anywhere in St. Lucia has everything that is needed to support children with autism, um, ranging from um, assessment resources to intervention resources to just simple care and management um, in the learning space? The answer is definitely no. There's a whole lot more that is needed. Uh, I think maybe the first and most important thing is a general sense of training and awareness, knowledge, understanding of um, autism and the approach to autism. Among the requests made by parents and teachers at the press conference were calls for proper training of teachers and public awareness and sensitization on autism. In addition, they demanded the creation of inclusive spaces, refined curriculums and infrastructure for their children. Whilst Minister Edward did not detail what the comprehensive SEND policy would entail, he applauded the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School for taking the initiative and bringing on a SEND teacher. For the DBS News World, Miriam Montu reporting.